coming the right way. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be a good day. This is Jason Lauren on Melbourne's Nova 100. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Ch- Wednesday. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I will say it's bloody nice to be back in the studio. Oh, isn't it, Jace? Good morning, oh, Melbourne. Morning, Stanners. Morning, Loz. We've got a problem. If she's gone to the hide-and-seek location, she, uh, that'll do me. Sure. Uh, producers, any sign of Jackie O? To- <laughs> Can someone get <laughs> Jackie O has not entered the building. Okay. Can do, someone do- make sure they're in the car park when she arrives? We have a guard of honour waiting in the car park. Please cheer her and compliment the outfit. Take your mobile phone <laughs> too. I want a video. <laughs> um, does she know? Do we have proof of life? Has anyone spoken to Loz? The Thumb, our executive producer, yes? She called me about five minutes ago and said she just woke up. Are you serious? She should be here by eight. Oh, that screams leadership, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> hey, oh, is she going to be flustered? How about, I don't know what day it is. Mate, how cold is it? Well, how cold is it? Because we've been in a hidey hole for so long. I woke up this... Well, actually, last night I went to bed. I'm like, what day is it? You know, it rattled me. I got into bed last night and I was like, Tuesday night's midnight now, we're in. Oh. Because I was thrown out. We're doing hide and seek. I didn't know what... I thought know. you were going to say, oh, I've got a wife. No, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that hello. too. That too. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, two degrees this morning. Yesterday, coldest day in years so here in melbourne too. what i find weird though is i remember last year right on a really cold day of like three degrees having ice across my windscreen yeah, scraping it off yeah but there's none of that and it's the coldest day coldest yeah, morning makes so no sense that work? i don't believe the smart people it doesn't make sense it does doesn't it? remember last year yeah. I, had to, I had to drive to the servo on bluff road and scrape the ice off my windscreen you did too yeah, and it wasn't as cold as like two degrees. It was real seat warmer weather this morning. I chucked mine on. Oh, engage the seat warmers. Oh. Yes, sorry, executive leadership. Yep. Someone is on the phone. Oh, no, they've called through nice and early. Maybe they want to. Hello, Nova. <laughs> Hello, Nova. Long time listener, first time caller. Good morning. Who have we got? I just was calling to say that I think you guys should go back into hide and seek. Oh, Great man, idea. Seek. Is, is, is someone already in there? <laughs> I don't know what day it is. I'm on the way though. Sorry. <laughs> did you uh, did you sleep in? I well, actually, I just last night set my alarms for five thirty instead of four thirty. I don't know why. Good. And then when oh, I went off, was. yeah, right. And then when I went off, I hit snooze twice. <laughs> and then Paul was like, woke me up. I was like, what are you doing? Because only because he got up to go to the airport, and he was like, why are you still asleep? Otherwise, I'd still be asleep. Well, thank you, Paul. Glad Mm. someone knows what's going on. Hey, I managed to get a sesh in. I still got here in front of you. A sesh? (laughs) A sesh? Did you have a pre six sesh? I had a a little 5 a.m. session. What? (laughs) Ew. In the shower? No, no, no. (laughs) (laughs) No, not on my own. Oh, Oh my my God. God, He's got a sure the missus is going to love this conversation. Well, yeah. Well, oh, that's bit, uh, disgusting. No, well, it's like a conjugal. We've, we've been hidden away for days. Sorry, Loz. I might just turn around and go back home. I don't no, want to look you, you in the eye. I think you should. Lou said something similar, actually. Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> she wants to turn around. Get off me. <laughs> hey, Lauren, call of the day. Oh, a couple my of, God, I'm so couple so of bottles of Zonzo for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you over 18. We're going to send you a few bottles of Zonzo Estate. You guys are having to pick up any drive-through or anything on the way. Yeah, why not? Surprises. <laughs> can we? Can we do this? Actually, you know what, Loz? Coming up next, we're going to relive hide and seek. So you got a good fifteen minutes between you and I. Awesome. Do you guys want me to grab coffee, coffees at the paper shop deli? I'll go on magic, please. Okay, clean. <laughs> cool. Oh, I've got you one actually. It's sitting here. It's going cold. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> I need it's a long black. <sighs> like okay. you requested. I need hydration. Hey, uh, we do have a huge show coming up today, Lozzy. We'll see you soon, Dar. I've got no idea what's on the show, but I'll be there soon. All right, that makes two of us. Uh, coming up, Tones and I going to be joining us a little bit later on. How good. She dropped a brand new single yesterday, and she's coming back to Melbourne to perform and as Jace, well. the return of the $5,000 question. 5K question Can't is back, and your chance to win tickets to the Teddy Swims Nerva Red Room. That is going to be massive. So, um, oh, hey, hey, can so I do it? How about it, huh? Hey, how what? about it? 
This one's going out to listener Lauren by request. Eminem on Nova. <laughs> uh, chilly start today, Melbourne. Going for a top of 13, Jace. Two degrees at the moment. Oh. She is chilly. Um, I'll tell you what's bloody nice to be back in the studio. So many people, so many people taking part in Melbourne's biggest game of hide and seek. Uh, Liam from Elwood, over $84,000 richer after finding us. It's been a lot of fun the last couple of days, but God, am I glad to be back in my own bed. It was nice getting home, wasn't it? But, um, geez, we did have some fun and so much interaction from Melbourne as well. Now, uh, the winning moment when Liam knocked on the door, uh, would have uh, you would have heard it after 8 o'clock yesterday, but for anybody that missed it this time yesterday, we thought we'd take a trip down memory lane of the last five days of Nova's Hide and Seek. Nova's $250,000 Hide and Seek. Melbourne, if you're hearing this... We have left the building. I'm both of us are now en route to the secret location, which means from 6am tomorrow morning... We'll be broadcasting live from there, and the race is on to find us. I'm gonna catch you if I can. Have you even seen what it's like outside today? I have no know? idea, Loz. Could Maybe be hailing, know. it could be a hurricane, who knows? Could be blue sky sunshine. We had a secret drop, didn't we? Wait, a supply drop. Yes. In the form of one... Clint Stanaway! Good morning. How exciting. I feel like I've just arrived on school camp. We just had to do a live cross into the Today Show. Wow, this is massive. Well, what's going on? Where are you? <laughs> well, that's been the $250,000 question. How the hell? That is outrageous. That total. <laughs> that amount of money. So is that sentence. <laughs> Tomorrow, guys. Oh my god! She's gonna be sitting there foaming at the mouth. Someone, please get me out of here. Get me out of here. Out of here. Position, I know where you guys are. Both of you guys are in the fun theatre in Yarraville. I, yes, our afternoon was running around like a headless tilt at a football club. I've been dreaming about it all night. I still think you're there. I think you're in the Denny Park tennis club. I'm gonna catch it. Time for a new clue. All eyes are on us. Sorry, but we have to dash. If I'm Frank, you can follow me to the water. We are 18.1 kilometres from Chadston. Sorry, you just have to wait there for a sec. Okay, we've got to go to a song. The team are running frantically around everywhere and someone's just called through. I think we may have been found. Never stop looking. Talia, the door you're standing in front of at the moment. Yeah. Is there like a fire hydrant to the right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to knock on that door really loudly. Yeah. And say, Jason Lauren, come out, come out, wherever you are. Jason, Lauren, come out, come out, wherever you are. No, we are not there. I'm going to catch you. For the last five days, we have been hiding in a secret location around Melbourne. All right, Melbourne, I need to do a pep talk to our dear listeners. All right, Julie. You need to try harder. (laughs) You're not looking hard enough (laughs) because we are still (laughs) here. Oh, we're broken up. Melbourne. I'm going to find this is it. This is it. 100%. You record the cameras in here? Yeah. Look, you're looking up. You're recording the cameras. What are we going on? <laughs> Guys, they've won $84,000. Okay. Hello. Uh, oh, this is Jess. Who have I got here? Liam Duffy. Hello, Liam. How are you? I'm great, Matt. And hopefully I'll be better in a minute if you come out. Liam, do you think you found us? Oh, we've been doing I this. I think I do. We've been doing this all day, Liam. Well, Lauren. <laughs> I know, mate. I've been doing it all weekend. I'm running oh. ragged. I've done over 50,000 steps the last two days. Let's get down to the business end. I'm going to find you. Liam? Yeah. Yes, sir. Are you standing outside a door that's at the top of the stairs? I am, yes. How this works, Liam, is I'm going to count down from three. Are you ready? Don't do Don't be mean. He yep. sounds so nice. Let's do it. One. Two. Three. Jason, Lauren, come out, come out, wherever you are.
you just won $84,000. Oh, my wife's going to be so happy. The street address is 407 City Road, South Melbourne. We are in a vacant office building. It's above the Dulux Paint Trade Centre. There's a giant Felice sign out the front. I'm going to call your wife Renee now. We won't say anything. We'll let you do the honours okay. and have a chat. Hello, how are you doing? It's me. Good, hi. I'm just out and about here looking for Jason Lauren. Okay. Yeah, and uh, are you in a meeting, are you? I am, yeah. Is there any chance you could pause the meeting? Um, I've just put myself on. Shit, did you find them? I'm sitting here with them right now. <laughs> husband and gorgeous daughter have just won $84,000. That is the He has been up all night trying to work these clues out. I thought it was going to be the death of him. That is so unbelievable. Nova's Hide and Seek has been won. The moment we were found is all up on our socials and podcasts. Just search Jason Lauren. Thanks for playing Hide and Seek, Melbourne. Can I confirm, Clint Stanaway, did you say he's won 84 bucks? 84 bucks, yeah. I meant to say 84,000 bucks. <laughs> Just left off a few zeros. Got you nailed that moment. <laughs> anyway. Hey, uh, can I just say a massive thank you to the crew at Lexus of Brighton, just along the Nepean Highway. Yes. Um, they were the very proud sponsors of Nova's Hide and Seek. Thank you very much for coming on board. They Is said it- they enjoyed it so much. They, I'm pretty sure they said something along the lines of, Jace, have a car. And Clint as well. Yes. Not you, Lauren, because you're late. <laughs> Uh, a huge thank you to Lexus of Brighton. Oh, here uh, we go. No- the cyclone's about to roll into the studio. <laughs> Nova's hide and seek. Should we do it again? Absolutely. Yes. At some point. Oh, Good is here. Morning. Lexus of Brighton were just handing out cars, but you weren't here. So, so we're like, you missed out on your we token. We need a new car. I know, but we said she's good for it. Oh, my God. I've done well. I woke up literally you look very 20 fresh. minutes ago. You do look good. A yeah. bit bronzer on the I, cheeks. I Sleeping will do that. Yeah, I wasn't going to turn up how I woke up. <laughs> I ro- it was so cold. Did you, see, you guys discussed how cold oh, it is. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I slept in I was on the show pants, an hour ago. Yeah. Winter socks, and I, I wasn't rolling. We're about to hit the 8 o'clock news, actually. <laughs> I don't know where I thought I was going with the outfit I've worn in. It is in, but, yeah. 16. I'm here, guys. <laughs> Woohoo! What have I missed? That is it. We are out of here for the day. Thank, Thank- God I'm going home to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thank you for being a <laughs> friend. Good morning. Celebrating Christmas in July with Frosted, a winter spectacular. Tickets are on sale now from Ticketmaster. Jason Lawrence, Snag a Snowman. Hey, this is a amazing thing to take the kids to. Uh, Frosted. Frosted. Yep, go and check it out. Christmas in July. Way, way to the end of the year. Just go to Ticketmaster for all your tickets. They're on sale right now. That'll that'll kill a day of the school holidays. I was looking at their little Instagram yesterday and watching the setup. It oh, is yeah. elaborate. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks great. They go full on. There's going to be like this giant snowball pit. Yeah. Inside that ball pit will be one little Nova snowman. Ooh. First one to find it wins $5,000. Yes, if you want to win a, no, snag a snowman and win the 5K, how do they do it? Uh, got to register. <laughs> <laughs> I think you register by the Nova player app. Don't say think, just back it do in. you call us? No, you no. don't call us. No. No. no, no. Register by the Nova player app or, or go by to novafm.com.au if you'd like to sheets. take part in our event. <laughs> G'day, Zach. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. How you going? Yeah, not oh, bad. Zach. We're going to throw Zach. you in the ball pit come Friday, brother. That sounds fantastic. I That's... reckon you'll be good at snagging a snowman, Zach. I'm I, I can sniff out a snowman. I reckon you could yeah, sniff out a snowman too. Hey, uh, we were talking about ball pits yesterday on the show um, with some more investigation. Uh, apparently, they took them out of Ikea because there I was... I never high. remember them being in There was Ikea. high traces of urine. Oh! oh. They are a bit gastro aren't they? Oh, uh, not, not, not this one. Not this one. Just a bit pissy. Not this one. But no, like, not this, no, not this one. Not this no, one. No, no, but the no, older no. ones, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. High, high traces. That'll get you. That'll get you. Bloody meatballs were delicious. Yeah, in Ikea. Oh, nice meatballs. That's what they should have I done. I love Ikea. I love going there. And I love 
I don't like getting lost there, but then all of a sudden you end up with all this stuff you never knew you I wanted. know, and how fun is it when you get the home? Marketplace, you, the marketplace is just heaven. When you get to build with your partner, that always ends well. Um, so look, uh, novafm.com.au or go to the Nova Player app for your chance to snag a snowman. Um, hey guys, coming up, I'm uh, going to check your run to work latest in news and then um, I thought we haven't done it for a while. Who wants to get a bit naughty at 6.40? Oh, it's too early for me. I just woke up. <laughs> No, it wasn't too early for Jace. Well, good morning, everyone. Justin Timberlake could be copping a serve from Jessica Beale this morning. Oh, Dad's in trouble. Dad I is in trouble. Think he was in Hamptons, and he's been arrested. I'll tell you what, for they're... a DUI. It's so funny over there how they don't just breathalyze you off the on the spot. You have to do like the stand on one leg test, walk in a straight line. They're still doing that. Yeah, and then they take you back to the station, and he's refused to get breathalyzed. He refused to blow into mm. the thing, so he automatically loses his license for a year in the city of New York. No, the sub, what do you call it? State. Yeah, right. they yeah. got to watch RBT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they got to learn how to do it properly. <laughs> My sons and I love watching that and then guessing mm. if they're going to be over or under. Yeah. <laughs> I find the, the drug tests a lot more entertaining. The so do I. positive or negative. How do you be like... Look at his eyes, Dad. Yeah. He's going to be positive. There was a good one on the cheap seats <laughs> last knows. night where they were showing RBT on the cheap seats. Oh, yeah. And they said they pulled this guy over and he goes, oh, yeah, I've had a bit of ice. And they said, oh, okay, when? And he goes, well, it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, well, happy birthday. But you still can't do that, sir. No. Yeah, he got in big trouble. We put a candle in the ice. Yeah, big yeah, right. trouble. Well, Jeez. I'll tell you what blew me away when I was on a um, trip over in America. I remember we were out at a bar one night. And um, at two o'clock, like the bar shut, and it was like in a hotel. And as we're going into reception, I'm watching all these people just getting in their cars and leaving. Like the amount of people that drink drive over in America, America blew me away. Well, they don't have that. They don't have a breathalyzer. I know, but I was just like, bloody hell, are you going to kill is someone? It, yeah, I don't know what the rules are. Is it 0.05 when they do get breathalyzed? Well, I, I don't know. You just got to you got to balance on one leg. By the looks of it. Mm, that's why they'll drive those big cars. Oh, yeah, big trucks. Big but trucks. God, love RBT. It still amazes me but that those Have idiots. you seen the photos of Justin Timberlake walking out in handcuffs? He looks, he doesn't look fresh. Doesn't look great. But then he, he gets released the next morning and he just looks a little sheepish. He's not in handcuffs, but you can tell he's spent a night in the clink. Why do people on RBT give permission for their footage well, to go on the show? it helps them in court. Oh. Why? So basically, oh. quite a lot of the time, they tender that as evidence. When they've been charged and they're being processed, and basically it's it shows more remorse. Oh, mm. oh, so oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they'll say, I appeared on RBT. You look know, how sad I was. Look how sad I was. Not I've old mate. My, I've learnt my lesson. <laughs> not not birthday. Not old ice mate. Who said? But it's my birthday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> birthday ice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Ice cream cake for you. <laughs> yeah. Coming up next, Naughty at 6.40 on Nova. Damn, she's still two degrees out there, guys. Rug up. It's, it, yeah. <clears throat> chilly it's Billy. It is chilly. Although I was saying to Clint earlier, Loz, um, remember last year, like, having ice on our cars? Yeah. I had to go to the server and scrape ice off my windscreen, yeah. and it wasn't two degrees. Then how is it but two degrees? last year. Yeah, but how is it two degrees this year? And oh, no ice. because that's global warming. <clears throat> no. That was just the coldest day last year. This is just the coldest day this year so far. It'll get colder. So am I going to get the ice on the windscreen? Possi possibly. Okay. Jace's little mind started ticking over. Oh, don't, you talk, global, don't you, <laughs> you talk Bindi Irwin in the corner there, just throwing out big clay. <laughs> well, because you're just a little bit late this morning. Jace, yeah, I slept in. Well, Jace and I, were, we were tackling the big issues of the world. Justin well, Timberlake getting arrested? Yeah. Also... He dropped a bit of a bombshell on the show, Lauren. Here it is. I managed to get a sesh in. I still got here in front of you. A sesh? <laughs> a sesh? Did you have a precinct sesh? I had a, a little 5 a.m. sesh. Ew. In the shower? No, no, no. <laughs> No, not on my own. Oh, oh my, my God. God. He's got I'm sure the missus is going to love this step. conversation. Look, yeah. Well, oh, I'm that's been, disgusting. No, well, it's like a conjugal. <laughs> we've, we've been hidden away for days. Naughty, naughty. 640. So I was in the car on the way in when you called and said that, and um, I thought about turning around and going back home. Veer off the road? Oh, what, were you going to go back to Paul and go, hey, we're on? No, I was going to not look you in the eye for 24 hours. Right. Gotcha. It Dad, is hard to look him. Look I can't look, in the eye. Yeah, it's like it's that's like my dad talking about having to throw down. Oh. I don't want to know. What time was it? 
Oh, five that. past five, and then I. T- <laughs> Don't you guys sleep in separate beds? Clearly, it was memorable. <laughs> no, and then I do. Um, I had to text our executive straight, five straight past after. five because how did you get here for five thirty meeting? Well, he texted me and said I'm going to be late. He didn't give me the reason why. He just said I'm going to be late. Oh, so cause... why are you giving me shit for being late? <laughs> I was only like five minutes late. Yeah, that'd be right. Only five minutes. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm surprised it wasn't two minutes late. Well, we chatted for four minutes afterwards. But how good was it? Um, Grace, really? I. So what? <laughs> was it more her or more you? <laughs> Who like, initiated the contact? No, nah, well, <laughs> it was funny, right? Like, it's so really funny. we came back I'm going from back to sleep. we came back from hide and seek, yeah. right? Like we've been away for five mm. days, and we got in bed last night. Are we doing this? Yeah, we are. Yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. yeah. We got. <laughs> Quinn's loving it. We got in bed last night. Yes. And I sort of, you know, put the arm round and went to, and went to spoon. And she snapped back and said, don't even think about it. I'm so tired. And I was like, okay, oh. all right, okay. And then this morning I got up and I was walking to the shower and and she sort of was like, hey, have a good show, babe. And so I went back and gave her a hug. And I think because you know, I went back and gave her a hug, it just instigated things. You asked. You asked. Yeah, pretty, I didn't ask. It's pretty gross. And I feel it? violated hearing that. <laughs> I'm sorry to our listeners. I'm, they've I'm all, not finished. They've all switched over and not listened to someone else. Now? You're not finished. And then I dropped <laughs> to my knees and begged. <laughs> That's pathetic. <laughs> oh, you silly little man. I'm sure I'm not alone. No. A pre-6am sesh. I mean, that's impressive, to be honest. I was in a deep slumber. You ever done a... What? You ever done a midnight one? Like, oh, yeah. like woken up? No, 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 no. Woken up, done it, and then gone back to bed? Yeah, oh, middle yeah, of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's romance. Not... See, that would rattle me because I like I, I don't think I could get back to sleep. What well, then you you're not doing it right. No. <laughs> <laughs> you get to expend that energy, big boy. 13, 20, 14. <laughs> I just want to know if I'm alone. Oh, what? You think you're the only hero in the world? Oh. <laughs> Righto. He's had his annual throwdown, guys. Let's celebrate him. I hope. Have you had the snip? No. <gasps> <gasps> oh, no, I can't do another uh-huh. kid. No, I can't do you with another kid. We no, can't do another kid. No, we'd give it away. Call a seven and win can't it. can't say that. Jace. No, no, no. No, no, no. You've got no. It's oh, an I'm Easter baby not. next year. That oh, went. no, you're rattling oh, me oh, now. I love an Easter baby. I can't do another van. Ba- oh. I have to get a van. <laughs> <laughs> You've just bought a new house. You're going to need to move again. I'm not made for oh, a yeah, van. Oh, yeah, you need another wing on I the can't house. do you, a west no, wing. No, you actually, I, I'm not kidding you. You won't cope with another kid. You are Lauren. I'm not having another kid. I am not driving a carnival. Can we call the Dr. Carnival Snip? will be the least of your problems. <laughs> 13, 24, 10. Have you had a throwdown pre 6 a.m. Melbourne? <laughs> oh. Is that what our naughty 640 topic yep. is today? Are we just limiting it to today? Or like it can be a standard no. thing? No. All right. Today. Just today. Just today. I don't want to know. Is Every it- single person in the world has had a pre 6 a.m. throwdown. All right. Has anybody listening this morning had a pre six a.m. throwdown? Do you think we'll get anyone? Pre six thirty. Oh, absolutely. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'd be very surprised. Give them some wine or something. Man, people in Melbourne are randy. <laughs> what about uh, what about a two hundred dollar Kogan voucher? Oh, that'll get them. There we go. Uh, helps you get what you want for less. Now that's clicking awesome. Kogan.com. <laughs> Is the place that to was go. Jace's hips this morning. No, no one's <laughs> calling because everyone has switched off because no one wants to hear about your sex life. 13 24 10 is our number. Have you had a pre 6 a.m. throwdown? You're on the air with Jace and Lauren. Naughty, naughty. 640. <laughs> Jace is bragging this morning. No, I, excuse me. I didn't brag. It was you a, did? No. You've got a stupid little grin on your face. It was a passing comment. You were running late and I just said, how did I manage to have a sesh? It's not really a passing comment because you've logged it in the show for half this, an hour. This was not show. me. I did not want to do this. As I know I'm probably... Look at that little smile on his face. No, when my wife hears about this, I'm probably never going to get it again. Can we keep this off the books? When yeah, you sure. Talk to Lou? Sure. No, and I'm going to tell her you told us all so that we never have to endure this conversation again. You're pretty happy with yourself though. And, and rightly so. You Thank had you, a Clint. pre 6 a.m. throwdown. With three kids... Take it when you get it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
That's to me. Yeah, but you know that's what got you in that mess in the first place. I know, Lauren. I know. 13 24 10 is our number. Have you had a pre 6 a.m. sesh? Phone lines have lit up. Tom in Gladstone Park. Morning, Tommy. G'day, Clint. How you going, mate? Oh, we're going well in here, especially Jace. What time are you logging yours this morning, Tom? The, this morning was about 4.30. Oh, that's early. Good on you, Tom. So were you yeah. and your partner waking up at that time or was the plan no, to go? No, me. Yeah, I just don't know you. if Sarah Jane knew it happened, but it happened. Yeah, right. And did she go back to bed afterwards? <laughs> I don't think she woke up. Oh, Tom. Is this Tom from the block? It Did is, you just yeah. say Sarah oh. Jane? Tommy! <laughs> Tommy! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, you've got three. kids, don't you? Yeah, just, you're yeah we got a, we got a couple. And like, um, yeah, like Jay said, you take it when you can get it. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Sarah so. Jane's going to have yours in a vice when she hears you're on the air. Saying this <laughs> <one>. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the first time she finds out about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, Tom. Good on well, you, Tommy. You, we love you, you Tommy. Have a good day ahead, Tom. Oh. He'll be happy on the nail gun like, today. I think I know that voice. Yeah. Did they you know that he was calling? Away. They were great oh, you knew on the, the block. voice straight away. I loved them on the block. Let's no go. No wonder to... they were so happy all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Grace. Tools down. No wonder she was so exhausted. In Frankston, good morning. How are you guys going? We're good. We're what good, time Grace. did you uh, oh, log Grace. your workout? Uh, about three o'clock. Oh, three a.m. Oh, three. And then do you go back to sleep, or is that your day started? Uh, yeah, no. Have a little nap and then up to work. Not long after. Okay. Is that is that every every morning three a.m. Uh, it's a regular occurrence. My partner knows. I've got a window between two and three <laughs> thirty, so. and then the shop is shut. A window. That's <laughs> yeah. A, oh yeah, if you miss the window, window. Time. Yeah, I right. don't think most blokes have windows. You guys are just just like, we're on all the time. Oh, yeah. we are. We're, we're a Seven Eleven. We are open twenty four seven, yeah, three hundred and sixty five nah. days a year. Nah, once the shop is shut, the shop is shut. <laughs> oh, we're doing a crazy run out, so. <laughs> Hello, Matt in Geelong. How you doing? Well, what's happening in these yeah, bayside good, mate, suburbs? Good. What time are you logging yours? Uh, roughly around three thirty. Oh, that's early. Matt, did you Shit. initiate it? <clears throat> uh, well, I live in Geelong and my partner lives in Melbourne, so um, and I start work at about five. So we, when she stays at my place, mm. um, she sort of has to wake up <laughs> and then quickly do it, and then um, she's got to leave so I can go to work. <laughs> hey, Matt, how long yeah, have you guys enough. been together? Uh, about three months. Yeah, yeah, see, it's new love. Yeah. I After three gonna... years, you're not doing that at three in the morning. I thought you were going to say you meet at that giant survey between oh, Melbourne and Geelong. Bay Roadhouse. Yes. <laughs> That's open 24 hours. Go in and get a jaffle afterwards. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> How good's a jaffle? I'd go for the jaffle. <laughs> All right. Steph has called through. Steph, uh, what time are you logging yours? And I believe you have a rule in your house. Oh, yes. We do. We do. And I, I do believe that everybody should have this rule. So it was between 4.15, 4.30. He initiates. He's a tradie. I'm so welcome. The rule is that your man should never leave the house hungry or horny. Oh. Is that the rule? It's the rule. Come on. That's why they all walk around with smiles. Oh. It works. It works. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I don't think the rule's getting embraced at Lauren's no, house. No, that rule ain't <laughs> Turn the frown going strong down. in my house. Yeah, yeah. The rule, Loza, embrace the rule. Don't let no. them leave hungry or horny. Well, Paul's going to look tense and starving today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, got, I woke up and got out the door in 20 minutes this morning. <laughs> Got to say, we have given away some amazing little trips over the last Haven't week or we? so. I love just like a little trip, little getaway. Yeah, you love a few days here and there, don't you? Yeah. Recharge, rather than the whole like three weeks away and all the packing and all that. I reckon two weeks is my capacity at the moment. Like after two weeks, I want to be in my own bed again. Miss my own pillow. Well, yesterday we said there is a trip to Cairns up for grabs in far north Queensland. And Bridget, that is yours. Oh, amazing. Congrats. Are you ready for a summer or not summer, a winter getaway to some sunshine? Yes, of course. Tell you what, you picked the day for it. I know. I know. Bloody it's two, two degrees. degrees in Melbourne Jeez. this morning. People are sitting by the pool in cans. Heaven. Have a great time, Bridget. 
Thank you so much. No my problem. Welcome. And my husband will love it. Oh, have the best oh, time. I'm so. It's um, Crocodile World up there. That's very good. Is it very called strong. Crocodile World? Yeah, it's 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 mm. a great spot because it feels a little <laughs> bit unofficial. Like the, there's not as many rules. Yeah, you know, it's like you go to Sea World and the sharks look stoned. Like yeah, nothing bad's yeah, going to happen. Yeah, yeah. A these Crocodile are, World in North ready, Queensland. It's like. To- Tear you apart. Someone could lose an yeah. arm at this show. You just don't know. Yeah. Mm. That's the date. That's what I like. Yeah. Send us a postcard, Bridget. Yeah. And if you lose an arm, get someone else to send it. Um, <laughs> the postcard, not the arm. Who's up for another holiday? I am. Um, today, our trip a day, it's a good one. I'd love to do this. Barossa Valley in South oh. Australia. Ooh, Some of the yeah. best wineries in the country are housed in the Barossa Valley. Have you ever done a Barossa Valley trip, Clint? Oh, have I watched? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> It's mildly infuriating. No, it really grinds my gears. I like to do this on a Wednesday. Think yes. of it as cheap therapy. That's it. It's the things that are mildly infuriating, like a mosquito in your bedroom when the lights are off and you're tucked into bed. I've in got fact, one. that's hugely infuriating. Shocking. Off the Monash this morning in traffic, there is something people do in traffic that drives me insane. Even at five o'clock in the morning. You know how if you're waiting to turn at the lights, right? Yeah. So you'll get a green, not a green arrow, but a green. Mm. So you have to wait for the oncoming traffic to go and then mm. you can like turn. Like if you're turning right. Exactly. Yep. People that don't move out oh. to the middle. Yeah. you, you, you got to move out. You've got to, res- got to move out. you got to move out. you got to hand back your Because otherwise only one car gets through when exactly it's yellow. Exactly right. Because when it goes orange, if you're, if not you're out in the, the middle, line. you go and everyone quickly follows mm. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That oh. is annoying. Are you allowed to toot Norella if she's not? Far enough in I the intersection. Do. I do. Yeah. Come on, Narelle. Let's go. Because I was behind <laughs> a lady yesterday trying to turn off the Nepean, and we had to go through three sets. Oh, yeah. You're not getting through there oh, half no, an hour. I annoying. ended up driving around her. Did, no, you didn't. What, and plonking yourself no, in no, front no, of Narelle? No, no, no. I went straight. Straight ahead. I went straight. Did a U-turn, I, came yeah, back. Did a U-turn, <laughs> went past, <laughs> went, see you, Narelle. Bye, Enjoy love. dying at the light. <laughs> well, while we're talking about things that are mildly infuriating in the car, I'm going to go with this. Paul is like a good foot taller than me, mm-hmm. foot and a bit. He's much taller. Getting in the car and having to readjust my seat to my setting. <laughs> I know it's not a big deal. It takes no, two it is. seconds. It is but a big it's deal. annoying because then I've got to move the mirrors. The seat oh, yeah. automatically goes to my spot when I unlock it with my phone. But the mirrors are all out. Because he's moved them. And if you don't have memory seats, you will never get it back to the way it was. No, you get it perfect. And then you're like, oh. Mm. Mirrors are a I big one. I could do this again. Mm. Mirrors Every are Every big... morning. Because he drives in the afternoon and I drive it. And changing the mirrors, <laughs> as Chase calls it, is really <laughs> I would like to add up how how long we've spent in our life changing the mirrors. The mirrors. Yeah, a lot. Hey, um, for me, it's the fridge alarm. Oh, don't the you, beep. Don't you be beeping me and shaming me and telling me how long I've got to leave my fridge door open. I will spend as long as I want with that thing open. Oh, you mean when Do you're still going through not it? Beat me. Yeah, that's annoying. also. It's going to be colder you leaving the door open today. Oh, than but the what about, door what being about when you just sit on the couch to eat your dinner and then it starts like you've accidentally left oh. it open? I'm like, I think I'd rather all my food defrost than me standing up right now and closing that. So I'm tucking into dinner. I've got a couple because we've just been in hide and seek. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Surely we Hide and seek themed. Yep. Firstly, the soggy bath mat. When you make a bath mat wet, hang it up. Don't leave it on the floor because it you doesn't dry for the next Doesn't minute. it magically dry? Secondly, Jace, this is you. Are you yes. Thing? Yes. Yes. You are eating a lot of microwave meals. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Why are you unable Why? to close the microwave after you open oh, it? Oh, that's annoying. Could I not close it? Never. Were you you always it? Left the microwave no, I always open. slam it. I always slam it. Nah. Really? Nah, bro. Nah. No, well, that's on me. Because you were the only one eating muscle man curries for breakfast, so it was definitely you in the morning. <laughs> you know what my issue was? Be like, Why is this open? In hide and seek? Crumbs in butter. Oh. That is a two <laughs> knife job. Oh, it is. What do you mean? Like, if you're doing Vegemite or. Like, oh, you can't go back into the butter and get the veg. No. <laughs> But don't be wiping your dregs on the top of the lid either. No, That's you get a piece on. of paper towel <laughs> and, you and you wipe clean it clean. It. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't want your dregs on my lid. I'm the same, Clint. Oh, our producers want to have a vent, guys. <laughs> oh, do they? Oh, God. We didn't ask Is you. Is this themed? Go on. Who's doing it We're first? out of time. Producer Jizz. Oh, so the um, clicker, the remote for our apartment car park is broken at the moment. So when I get home, I've got to park the car 
get out, walk up to the little um, oh, no. patch on the wall and scan no. my fob, no. then go back into my car and drive no. through. See, I, d- I don't think that's right for this segment because that mm. is actually really quite annoying. a big, big oh, issue. It's only 10 steps, though. No, and when no, I get no, angry, no. I'm, I'm angry at myself for being lazy, but it's so well, bad. To get into this building, you have to scan to open the gate. And then, oh, once no. the garage gate is open, you have to scan again to open the boom gate. Why don't they both open at the same time? I'll give you one that's going to absolutely infuriate you. <laughs> Damn it. <No>. Infuriate <laughs> you. Yesterday, <laughs> I collapse into the couch, right? Yeah. Just mm-hmm. collapse into the couch. What a time. Go looking for the remote. <sighs> Whoever used it last has left it up oh, on the so kitchen bench. Back up. That's annoying. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, big boy, got to get up. Nah, that's annoying. I was like, I'm not a big believer in Star Wars or the Force, but if I've ever got the power for the remote to just zap across the room to my hand, now's the time. Paul has somehow put the remote control on his phone. I'm sorry, what? He can t- he can control our whole TV with not his phone. Not just the Sonos, like the No. Just the a no- what, what Turn sort it on, of t- off. What sort of TV have you got? An LG. Love's good, baby. I, I wonder if the Samsung can do that. Yeah. We've got all the same TV, so they've all got the same remotes in every single room. So if they get mixed up or you lose one, you can just go. Get I don't another think one. my Chang Yong's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it will, but it might open Jesus' garage. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen twenty four ten is our number. What do you find infuriating? Oh, oh. <laughs> Clip it up for the words English you can't language. Say. <laughs> come on, one more time, big boy. What do you find infuriate? <laughs> Try mildly before. Go. Just think of fury. Okay, all right. What do you find mildly infuriating? Yes! yes! <laughs> we are doing this. It's mildly infuriating. No, that really grinds my gears. It's the smallest things, but it absolutely sends you tropo. Grinding gears. Yep, 13, 24, 10 is our number. It could be anything like... Jace leaving the microwave open every time he used it. Here's one for everyone caught on the Monash this morning. People that need to get out of one lane to get into the next when it's mm. not going anywhere. Yeah. It's just holding traffic up even more. What about when there's like mm. a little little prang on the freeway and you think oh, the cars are all stopped and then you get past it and there's nothing there. It's there's just because people are slowing down to look yep. at it. Mm. Yep. What are you doing? But you slow down and look yeah, at it you too. Slip, Keep slow moving. Down. Did you slow down? Well, I had to because all the other cars in front of me had slowed down. (laughs) You see the trend. And then you go, well, there's nothing really in that. Someone's just got a flat tyre and everyone's stopping to look. Michelle on 132410, what grinds your gears? I'm with Loz. It's the moving of the car seat. My husband moved it into his position just to back it out of the shed when he washed it. Oh, nah. Yeah, you can't be doing no, that. Don't no, no, me- no, Don't mess with my settings, Michelle. I'm if he's you. just backing the car out, his knees can be under his nose yep. as far as I'm concerned. Uh, well, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And we have memory seats, but it remembers the last person that drove it. Oh, well, that sort of defeats the purpose yeah, of the memory does, seats. Because the problem Only is I can't, I can't drive on Paul's <laughs> settings because I can't reach the pedals. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Because <laughs> his legs are too long. Mine are too short. And I drive real close to the wheel. I'm do like, do you right ever just pull over borrow the car, not the electric, the other one, and then you get back in it and there's no fuel? No, he's good at f- it, that's that's a me problem. Right, I'm okay. the one that doesn't fill it up. Yeah, yeah, that'll do my head in. Yeah, thirteen twenty four ten is our number to join us on the air. Leanne in Piersdale, what do you find mildly infuriating? I find that when I I work in childcare. And when I uh, set up the room all nicely, everything like that, and then I have a day off and I come in the next day and it's not set up the way I set it up. It oh. really annoys me. <laughs> so someone else has not left it how they found it. Is that what you mean? Y- yes, yes. <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah, that's so annoying. You sound like the Kim Jong-un of the childcare world. <laughs> you just sound a little bit too... No, it's not it's the kids that are way. messing it up. Are you saying other that's colleagues right. are doing it differently? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's like I like stacking my dishwasher a certain way. Oh, you two and your dishwasher. And when other people stack it, even though they're trying to help, I'm like, I'd rather you leave it on the bench and let me do it. Yeah, fair point. Stacey seems like a bit of a punish to work for. No, nah, like, I'm with Stacey. It's annoying when people don't revert to your settings, <laughs> the way you like things in your workplace. 13, 20, 10. <laughs> on the dishwasher hmm. is our number. Sometimes you take items out of the dishwasher and they're like, they've still got... 
half a cup of water, dishwasher yeah. water in it, yeah. that's infuriating. Because it's flipped upside down. You know what? You've got to put it back you in. You haven't stacked it right. How's this guy? Right. How's yeah. this guy? Bloody amateur. You and I, we know how it's done, don't Oh, we, mate, Jace? they come out brand new. Me too. Yeah, and I've we've like on on top of where the glasses go. There's this little shelf that Paul doesn't even know exists. And you can fold it down. So if you've got short glasses, you can do a double stack. Yep. Or you can put the lids of things. Yes, that's what oh, I do. Oh, the or joy little, of when everything fits or, in one load. Or little uh, like dip trays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A top shelf. Yeah, I need oh, a tutorial. Yeah. Even my uh, like all my cutlery is stacked together. The knives are together. The forks are together. The spoons are together. Let's go to Stacy on thirteen twenty four ten. Don't put the Hi, knives. Guys. Don't Thank put the you. knives facing up. I don't want them to breed in there oh, and come out go. as a splayed. No, a certain amount of people die each year from tripping and no, being stabbed don't. to death by their dishwasher. What? That's true. What? That they fall into the dishwasher. Dishwasher yes. fatalities? Dishwa- no, that's, Google. that's I not- swear to God, Google what dishwasher fatalities. Say? So if you have the knives facing up, and they there fall. are a certain amount of people. Sorry, Stace, we'll get to you in oh, one you second. Oh, you know why I'm confused? Because I've got a dishwasher drawer. So if you fell, you wouldn't even hit the... Oh, no, you'd be fine. Hang on. Pr- Brody, yep. It says here that the last dishwasher-related fatality from falling onto cutlery was in 2001. Uh, every year. <laughs> every year, a certain number of people. That's one in 25 years, Jace. Stacey! It fits right north. Hello. Hi, how are you going? We're good, good. Stacey. Hey, Stace. What's mildly infuriating to you? Uh, when you go to a public toilet and the big round rolls of toilet paper and you go to get some, but the... You, have to like spin it around like six or seven times before <laughs> any toilet paper comes out. Yes. I'm like, what the hell? You can't find the end. How's that electric one? You know those electric toilets. Now you got to hit the button. It goes meh and puts out like one square of toilet yeah, paper. You, I don't. I don't go to those. That's ones. why you're doing it at home. You, yeah. you hang on as that's an emerg- as long as That's you an can. emergency stop if you oh, need yeah. to go to one of them. I reckon. I know, but if it's an emergency stop, you're going to need more than one square. You are. What they're doing Russians? Are they? It go- meh, comes out one you square. You can't be doing that. That's not. You need one more than one square. square. That's ridiculous. And then you got to tear it off, and then meh, another square comes out. And that's then it's ridiculous. that ridiculous. It's got that funny coating on it as well. Oh. It's shocking. It's not a real paper. It's, it's like a plastic paper. Thirteen twenty four ten <laughs> is our number. For- <laughs> <laughs> that ain't good for anyone. That doesn't do the job. <laughs> no, no. Petey and Doreen, good Petey, morning. Petey. Petey. Good morning. Talk to us, Petey. What do you find mildly infuriating? I work in aged care and my pet peeve is when someone puts a wet teaspoon back in the sugar bowl. Ah, oh, yeah, and it all sticks to it. They've mixed up their tea yep. and then they've put it back in. I thought you were just going to say yep. old people. You can't be doing <laughs> that. <laughs> Absolutely not. My grandma's there. We love her. Yeah, oh. that sounds like a um that hang sounds on. like a staff room problem. Hang on, hang on. No, it's when they do the teas for the residents. Um. Hang on. So you work in the same place that your grandma is living? Yes. Oh, she'd be in yeah, the penthouse. So that's, that's biased. Mm. Yeah, of course it is. You'd look after Nan more than everyone else. Absolutely. If three people hit that fall bell at the same time, you're oh, running you're to grandma. Nan. Yeah, but yeah. Petey oh, would make sure they're all looked after well, I'm after sure. After Nan's been checked Nan in on. Three places. I can be in three places at once sometimes. I love, you know what, people who work in aged care are amazing. Well done, Petey. Ladies and gentlemen, Nova's Red Room presents... Oh! The one and only Hey, it's Teddy Swims Can't wait to see you live in Nova's Red Room Teddy Swims I've tried everything but therapy Part 1.5 Featuring loose control And the door is out now to download and stream I'm going to call it one of the biggest Red Rooms of the year Will be this one I am so excited. I love Teddy Swims. Uh, I've got invites for Lou and some of the school mums. They're doing a mum's gone wild afternoon and coming along. Oh, my gosh. So it's in the afternoon because he's out here for his tour. And Nova have got him exclusively for a red room on the Sunday before his show that night. It's going to be small and intimate and amazing. You got invites already? Yeah. You've got one. Got to get in early, Have Clint. You've got to get in one. early. Have I got a plus one? These will be hard to Probably get. Probably not. Yeah. Because no. Jace took them all he for his wife's school moms. took them all for his wife's friends. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks. You know what? The school... Mm, you might get along with some of the school moms. Oh, is there some single hot school moms? Yeah, or unhappy ones. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you would all like right. to score an invite to Teddy Swims at Nova's Red Room, give us a ring right now. Look at the phone lines go. 13, 24, 10. And on the other side of this... If you're uh, in your 30s, thinking about a career change, just not happy doing what you're doing. Have we got a career for you? You're going to love this. Uh, Clint's here as well as the cop. That's the sound that I'm You better start talking. Jason Lawrence. Answer me! 
Probe the Popo. Tell me what you know. One of my favourite segments we do on the show me is too. Probe the Popo. This is where we get to ask them questions instead of them asking us questions all the time. We love Vic Police in here. Very different one this week, isn't it, Loz? Well, it is. And I was saying earlier, we have a lot of police men, but we haven't had a lot of police women in for Probe the Popo, but that is changing this morning. Constable Anastasia Barker joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, the point of difference, because we always have a, a police officer from a different department or yeah. it's something, and we've had so far, I've got to admit, the dog squad was my favourite because they brought cute. the puppies in. Definitely. Yeah. But you're a new police officer who has decided to join the police force in your 30s. Yeah. Total correct. career change. Absolutely. Yeah. After having a photography business, mm-hmm. you've done a career change and joined the academy. Yes. Very true. Um, yeah. Was always the goal for me. Uh, wanted to. I, I applied when I was twenty-one. Right. Um, always wanted to be a police officer since I was sixteen. Is it? Is it in your family? No. No. No one in my family is a police officer. Because I think there'd be a lot of people listening right yeah. now in their thirties who yep. are looking for a life change. Yep. Aren't happy with what they're doing. They're like, you know what? Life's too short. Mm. So you wanted to be a police. Why? Why didn't you do it when you were twenty-one? Uh, so I applied. Uh, it was a very, very different recruitment process back then. Mm-hmm. We're talking a while ago now. Um, I got through to the fitness stage and then found out I was pregnant with my eldest daughter. Oh. Yeah. So it's just a not kids. now. Right not now. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't the right time. That's it. Yeah. How hard's the fitness stage to pass? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it's it's not too difficult. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because um and <laughs> base fitness. Take take this the right way, Victorian police, but um. I'm guessing you don't have to go back and do it every year, judging by some of the officers that I've seen out there. Some of the older guys. Yeah, yeah. In your first two years of training, you have to do it a fair few times. Right, And okay. then after that, you, you click. Gloves are off. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> so, in terms of the process, so mm-hmm. you go to the academy, you go jump through all the hoops, yep. and then what happens from there? Are you in uniform at a, at a certain station? Like, what's the process? Yeah, so once you graduate, we go to the road policing drug alcohol division. Right. So that changes amongst squads depending on what the need is. So my squad was there for four weeks, and that's basically working on the booze buses. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, so that's your final stage called uh, your DTW stage. So it's like the last bit of your academy stage. Did you ping anyone? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Is that also where you do the traffic control? Because I see in the city on the corner of like, I think it's like Collins and Exhibition, there is always police there when the traffic lights are working, but they're either learning or practicing. So that's in the middle of academy. Right. So, yeah, we do two weeks in the city of city policing where we do traffic control and whatnot. Because I always think the traffic lights are working fine. What are they doing here? Yeah, that's practicing. (laughs) We were were saying earlier uh, that show RBT, Mm -hmm. we'll we'll watch it at home and as it's going... And the guy's like, yeah, man, I'm an Adney. We'll sit on our couch going, yeah, he's over. As you're doing the RBTs and they're blowing in the bag, <laughs> do you look at them and go, you know. secretly like, yeah, Guilty. you're blowing it. You're gone, mate. You're gone. Yeah, look, some people are a dead giveaway. <laughs> 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 hey, Definitely. How long is it in the academy? Uh, it's about seven months. And what's the process of getting into the police force? What's it like? The recruitment process, it can be quite stressful. Mm-hmm. Um, it can it can vary depending on the person. For me, it took 16 months. Right. Um, that was just medical. Being a little bit older, I had to do a few things a couple of times, mm-hmm. such as my hearing test. Um, but it Really? Can just, yeah. That must make you feel really old it when did, they keep doing it. It did, but I passed and I was really happy. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, so the, now it's a little bit different. The recruitment process has changed somewhat. Um, so I don't think uh, everybody has to do the entrance exam now. I think there's no video interview. Um, but, yeah, you do this, the psych interview yeah. testing. It, it's it's quite a, a drawn-out process, but it's worth that, it. You have to do stress tests tests and things, I imagine, because police officers have to stay so calm in that's, that's wild environments. Yeah, Not necessarily stress testing, but that's a part of the psych evaluation. Right. Yeah. Also, to make sure you don't just snap like we would. Probably you don't just. listen at the best of times. No. So like, imagine Lauren with the hearing test. It'd have to be like, hey, Loz, you've been driving around with the siren on. You just haven't, you haven't actually <laughs> I'm noticed. not good with attention to detail. <laughs> no. 
I would say. Also, you do shift work, right? Yes. Correct. Have you ever slept in? Because I missed the first half hour of the show this morning because I never. slept in. I've You've never slept in. Yeah, do right. people do it though? And do they cop it yes. from their mates? Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Is it third <laughs> third sleep in you get tased? Is there a rule or anything like? It probably should be. You right. know, but no. <laughs> hey, um, no set rule. We talk about career changes, and you've changed careers. In your late thirties. Now, look, that's not old by any stretch, but we are seeing this evolution of sort of older police officers. Mm-hmm. Are, are you seeing that in, in stations? Is yeah. it happening more and more? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, the eldest recruit, sh- a shout out to my Scotties. Uh, he was fifty-five at Academy. <gasps> no way! Yeah. And what yeah. career had he come from? Uh, he worked within a school, in a secondary school. And why? Why do people want to join the police force? Uh, look. I, it, it differs for everyone. Yeah. For me, I, I, I love helping people. I love talking to people. And this was always on the cards for me. It's yeah. always something I wanted to do and I didn't want to live my life with regrets not knowing if I could do it. I imagine, 55. well, as a as a former teacher, he probably wants to go and sort out this youth crime problem that we had. And he was like, I know. I'll know the kids. Mm. I get it. But at 55, you're not climbing the fence to chase them. I'd be like. How do you know? Oh, you'd be surprised. Yeah. I'd, I'd call in the chopper. I'd be like, Polo, this Don't one's yours. Don't him. There's Don't some fi- him. 55-year-olds out there. So has it been eye-opening so far? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think um, when you're going through academy, you have an idea of what you're going to be up against, and then actually on the job is a completely different thing. All is right. it like the Police Academy, the movie? <laughs> Negative, no. Oh, there's no <laughs> high tower? <laughs> no. Is there anyone that makes those funny little sounds or anything? No, I've never no. met anyone like that, yeah, no. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> never is like the movies, is it? Hey, uh, <laughs> we are doing Probe the Popo this morning. Uh, we are focusing on Constable Anastasia Barker, who decided to get into the police force in her 30s. If um, Are you open to taking calls? Because I'm sure a lot of people yeah, would have sure. questions. Yeah. 13 24 10 is our number if you have any questions for the constable this morning about yes. the police academy. What's it like getting in? How do you get in? How yep. hard is it? Uh, actually, I've got one. I, I, we'll, we'll go to the break on the other side of this. I want to find out if you've been in trouble with the law before, can you still be a cop? <laughs> That's the sound that I'm You better start talking. Jason Lawrence. Answer me! Probe the popo. Tell me what you know. We are probing Constable Anastasia Barker this morning, New South Wales police officer, also a CFA volunteer. You do that when you're not policing? Jeez. I do, I do. Wow, you're a busy woman and a mum of two. In fact, uh, the CFA are asking Victorians to give us a hand by joining their local CFA brigade and play a role in protecting the lives and property. Head to cfa.vic.gov.au forward slash volunteer. We're talking about getting into the police force a little bit later in life this morning. My grandfather was the senior sergeant of police at Glen Waverley Police Station and always encouraged me. I was like, I'm in journalism. And he goes... Maybe you should become a copper. Hang on. He was senior sergeant. Senior Tom Croydon. sergeant. He was, he was the boss. He was the Tom Croydon. He was the boss. Wow. And was always encouraging me to get into the police force. You would have been like the I'd PJ. Be a good cop. You reckon I I'd be a good cop? I think you would be because you're so likable. Didn't you get arrested for pissing on a police station in Mexico? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, will, that, will that count <laughs> against me? me? We are in An international, presence, international huh? violation or well, arrest? Well, that's a good question. Con- Constable Bar. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, that was nearly almost a got, slip of the tongue. Almost got tasered Constable for dropping the C Barker. word on the air. Um, th- that <laughs> is, we've we've got a few people who have called through and they have questions like that. Like Della from Ocean Grove, she's got a question about a similar thing to what Clint just asked. Morning, Della. Hi, how are you going? We're good. good. What's the question? Hey, Della. Pardon me, what was that? Sorry, I couldn't what, What's your question? Um, if you've um, had, like, driving offences, like, in your younger teens, and um, you wanted to join the force net like now, like mid thirties. What would you have to do to or go about to get in? Can you join the police force? I don't know if we want to be giving Della a gun. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a part of your application, your initial application, um, when you decide to start the recruitment process. Is just declaring um, all your perhaps traffic traffic offences or drink driving offences, and it is based on a case-by-case basis, so it does differ for everyone, as long as you declare them and you're honest. Um, Also, I imagine it'd be different from, like, a speeding fine to importing drugs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Very different. Like, it would be more different. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, 
All right, let's go to Andrew on thirteen twenty four ten. What's your question? How long does it take to get into the police force? Oh, Andrew, how old are you? Can I ask quickly? Andrew, how old are you, buddy? Oh, he's oh, hung up. Oh, he's, he's hung up. Oh, he's he was pretend- eleven. Oh, he's okay. eleven. That's cute. Um, so again, it differs for everyone. Um, I had some squaddies that went through in six months. Uh, yeah. For me, as I mentioned earlier, it took yeah. me sixteen months. Other people, I think there was someone that took three years to get in. Uh, just depends on the process at the time, um, how heavily they're recruiting and and getting people through, and yeah, the the volume, the numbers as well. Because I had a friend who is a fireman, oh, yeah. and he said a lot of people get knocked back their first time in the fire brigade when they apply because they want to see the people that'll come back because it means they're really oh. keen to do it and they're not going to drop out, take a spot and drop out. Is is that a similar thing in the police force? If you get knocked back, should you reapply? Oh, look. D- if it's your dream, if it's your goal, go for it. Yeah. Definitely. S- stripper or fireman? Real fireman. Mm. Right, yeah. gotcha. Um, <laughs> good looking rooster though. Could hey, uh, have a career change later in life if you wanted. <laughs> is it good pay? Yeah, look, it, it's not It's not too shabby at the moment. Right, even starting at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Look, at, during academy, it's a bit tough. Yep. Um, once... Once you're sworn in, it goes up a little bit. Once yeah, you right. start on the job, there's a lot of penalties. Oh, penalty well, you should based. be paid well. Honestly, like you guys do such an amazing yeah, job in line. such difficult circumstances. Here's a rumour I've heard and oh, hopefully yeah. it can clear it up. Is there incentives for giving out fines? No. You, no? Because no. I've heard park inspectors. Parking, <laughs> park inspectors. Yeah, they'd oh, be on a retainer. Oh, yeah. What, they get a kickback every yeah, fine they, they do, dish mate. Out? Absolutely. No, not at all. Okay. All right. Have you, uh, have you ever recognised someone you know at a traffic stop? Like Justin Timberlake just got done for a DUI. <gasps> Have you ever come across a celebrity or someone you know? Mm, no, not personally. Yeah, right. And would you Dad. have to pretend you didn't know them? <laughs> yeah, so protocol is to have somebody else take over. So yeah, you right. Oh, but what happens yourself. if it's like Justin Timberlake? You couldn't be like, well, none of us know who you are. Someone's <laughs> got to do it. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd have to take that one. Yeah, yeah right. I'd just pretend. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Just, I'll arrest you, JT. Hey, uh, well, okay. <laughs> Wow. Lauren was just asking before, um, during the break, when you go out with a partner in the cop car, you're always with someone senior. Yep. Do you get to drive the cop car straight away or have oh. you got to be the senior person? Uh, so, through Academy, we have something called our white license. Right. So, we can basically just drive the police cars, just normal driving. We call it coffee driving. Right. <laughs> That's basically all we're allowed to do. Yeah. Um, but your senior person will have a silver license or a gold license so oh. they can drive in emergency situations. So, we, oh. we don't drive. So Usually, just Like the police person. academy shot, the yeah. Gold Coast at the what movie if, world. But what if you're on the coffee no, run? No, not like the police academy shot movie world. <laughs> when they do flips and yeah, stuff. Yeah, not like no. that. Well, what if you're on the coffee run and then you need lights and sirens? It's go, go. Go, go. You have, have you got to pull over? Seats. You just yeah. swap. Just really? Yeah. Pull over. Yeah. Pull over and swap. Yeah. No, they're cops. They do it while they're driving. Oh. So you'd have your foot <laughs> no. on the panel and you'd have to grab the centre console. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it is a very interesting career. Would you recommend it? Yeah, definitely. If you're up for a challenge, something new, something exciting, something different every day, definitely. Cool. It Can must we be take hard. Mary's is call? It, yeah, is yeah, it yeah. fun yeah. sometimes too? Yeah. yeah. It must be fun. Definitely. Hey, Meza. <laughs> Mary. You got a question. Hello, Mary. Yes. Mary, Mary, you there. I'm here. I'm about, here. I was about to say you won't pass the hearing test, Mary. Yeah. So Sorry, you, Mary. you might oh, yeah, have troubles with the. Pass it. <laughs> you might have troubles with the medical, I believe. What? What's? What's uh, up? I've got a hip replacement, so I'm not sure if they will consider that. How old are but you? But I am Mary? very fit. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Um, mm. Look, honestly, I'm I'm not too sure. Um, I would say give it a go as long as you're physically fit and can pass the fitness requirements. Mm-hmm. Um, I wouldn't see as a, as an issue. However, you'd have to go through medical as well, but I'm yeah, sure right. they'd be able to discuss that further with you. Oh, oh, people some... move better with the new hips than the original yeah, ones. Yeah, put some lights and, sure lights and siren on a little mobility scooter <laughs> or Mary something. Mary said she's moving well. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. I'm very fit. <laughs> you're in, Mary. You're Don't in. worry, Mary. We have no doubt you're fitter than Jace. Yeah, Don't Mary, let oh. yeah. yeah, Mary, you passed the physical two times over in front of me, mate. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, Anastasia, thank you so much for coming in this morning. It's been a real insight. Yeah. And I think for a lot of people out there who are in their 30s, early 40s, who are just, you know, in a rut and want a career change, this is a great one. Um, awesome. Thank you for having you. me.
Constable Anastasia Barker has joined us this morning, a mum of two, a CFA volunteer and an incredible policewoman. Thank you very much for everything you do in our community. And as we say to the cops every week, hopefully we don't run into you soon. <laughs> it is Probe the Popo. And coming up next, a 5K question, 13, 20, 4, 10, if you want to give it a crack. Here we go. One question can win you $5,000 cash. And my God, it has gone off a couple of times, and we are due for another winner. Yes, let's do it. Let's go to Hopper's Crossing this morning. Blair, good morning. Hey, Blair. Good morning. How are we, guys? We're good. Oh. What do you do for a living? Blair, so what, was that one? Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a project manager for oh. a, in corporate. There you go. And have you just dropped your kid off at school, I believe? I did, yeah. Great. So I got him out of the car and... And he couldn't believe, so got got it recording as well. Oh, oh. good. Give him a shout out. What's his name? So, Logan. So Logan. I hope he has a good day at school. Morning, well, Logan. Well, Mark, uh, Blair, you could be in real trouble here if Logan hears this and you get it wrong and he knows the answer. It's a good point. That, that is a good that point. That is a good point, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can win you. Oh, maybe I won't record it then in just in case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do, mate? Do you want to go an easy question for 50 bucks, medium question for 500, or are we rolling the dice and going for 5K? No, we're in it to win it, so let's go to the 5K. Oh, $5,000. Good luck. Lauren's going to give you a question. You get three seconds to answer. If you don't know, may I suggest you take a guess? No worries. Here we go. Blair representing Logan, your son, for $5,000. What do you call a group of jellyfish? Three, two, a squabble. one. <laughs> No. Oh, good guess. Good, good guess. guess. Solid guess. I didn't know this, but it's called a smack. A smack of jellyfish. A smack of jellyfish. And our producers are so clever here. They've written, jellyfish are mostly made up of water, not jelly. Okay. <laughs> That's another good fun fact. Sorry, Blair. Oh, sorry, All Blair. Day, oh. Squabble. No a, ice cream for Logan. Guess. That's a squabble. A squabble. There's a fight. A squabble's huh? a fight. Yeah. Is it jellyfish? But I'm sure there'd be a squabble would be a group of something. Is jellyfish the one where if you get stung, you've got to get someone to pee on you? Or yes. vinegar, yeah. Or one vinegar. Or the yeah, they right. don't have brains, hearts, or lungs. No, but they've got a sting on them. And but they the, are not made of edible jelly. The irukandji is one you've got to get straight to hospital. Oh, They're yeah. The no. you, the and the box suits. jellyfish. Yeah. Oh, the boxies. Yeah. That'll kill you. Yeah. Yeah. That'll kill you. You can have all the people in the world pee on you. Ain't going to yeah. save you. No. no. Hey, um, guys. They're weird jellyfish, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Coming up next. <sighs> some teens were caught doing something very stupid here in Melbourne yesterday. And we are going to. Anyone gonna, we know? No, but we are going to go back. And flash back to our youth and oh. reveal the most stupid thing we've all done on the other side of Hosier here on Nova. Just after five yesterday afternoon, Lauren, I was out walking the dog and I got a text from your partner, Paul, oh. who's very observant. You call him the mall cop. Mall yeah, cop. He, is, yeah. he wants like, to be a policeman. What on earth is a Channel 9 chopper doing buzzing over my so neck of the woods. He's in aviation. He knows what planes and what choppers are where at all times. Well, there was very re- good reason why the Channel 9 chopper was buzzing oh. over that sort of region like the South Yarra, Cremorne, oh. Richmond area. I didn't hear it. Because it was on its way back from another job when it spotted, the cameraman spotted these ewes. There was like five or six ewes who had climbed Kids. the Nilex clock. You know that derelict old clock oh, that hasn't to the worked. Freeway. The big silo and the clock yeah, on yeah, top yeah. hasn't worked for, I don't know, eons of I years. It used to light rest- up, Jace, at night. It used to be beautiful. It used to have the temperature. That's the cool. Yeah. I thought they were restoring it. I believe they're doing some sort of residential development around uh-huh. there. Anyway, it is 14 stories high, and somehow they've scaled fences, they've been able to break inside jump up the stairwell and they're climbing the actual uh the LED light on the on the top of the Nilex clock. Oh, and the cameraman the cameraman just spotted it spotted as they were flying yep, back. Spotted That's it. cool. Um Reed Butler was there on the ground. Of course he was. You know how you know when you get above things it looks prettier and cheese. Trying to see like the city and stuff. He's yeah. not going up there. We saw what happened before, it was really bad. Why is he wearing a full mask? I don't know. Oh is that his friends? <laughs> <laughs> Did they do an interview with the neurons? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that because, won't make them so, so findable. One, one band of kids got up there, they came down, and then it basically, it was like a red rag to a bull. All the kids wanted to climb the Nilex uh, clock, didn't kids they? Kids do dumb things. Silly, kids silly kids. Kids do dumb things. That's Let's, pretty dumb. 
let's hold on to that thought because what we decided to do is we got everyone on the team to anonymously write down what's the oh, stupidest thing they've done as a kid. So all we right. don't have names attached to them, but uh, all are these guys things. Gonna guess? Okay, all, right, all these things you're about to read out, our team have done. Stupid kid lotto. My friends and I decided to go to East Link and try and get into the fake hotel on the freeway. I want to do that, and I'm Hang 42. On. I'd say that'd at be 20. at 20. At 20, I'd say that'd be that's Lauren Phillips. <laughs> you reckon? Well, because. I don't know how many others are actually from Melbourne. <laughs> and also, Brady, I think, could do something much worse. Okay, that was me. <laughs> was you? Oh! Yeah, after a long day like at the Sorrento inside? Hotel, you couldn't get in. There's Could nothing you? in there. No, 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 no it's, it's like it's a, hollow. There's it's a metal a, stairwell. It's like a fire oh. stairwell, that's it. Had others been in there, do you think? Don't Probably. No, nah, you can't Signs really get in. There is a YouTube. You can look it up um, and it shows you what's in there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's just, it's hollow. Cool. Yep. Okay. Uh, this one. I was 21. <laughs> we were in Canada and decided to jump off a bridge... Into a gushing waterfall. We couldn't get out for 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, not Niagara Falls. <laughs> Who did that? I can't tread jazz. for 40 minutes. That'd jazz. be jazz. The Producer Irishman. Jazz. Yeah. That was me and I yes. feared for my life that day. Yeah. Did Pro- you actually think you were going to die? Probably no. Yeah, yeah. Well. We were stuck in the freezing water with the waterfall um, flowing the other side and we could not scale back up the rocks. It was oh, scary. Well, there was a waterfall. Did silly, you get rescued? Silly man. We eventually managed to scramble up with the help of a few mates, but it was dodgy. Dumb. Dumb. Silly, yeah, dumb. Dumb things but kids fun. do. And okay. Irishmen can't swim either. No, they That's can't. Oh, terrifying. okay, this is great. <laughs> I was playing with matches when mum and dad were out and I lit their bedroom curtains on fire. Ali. I'm calling Ali. It was uh, me. Was it? <laughs> yeah. That is dumb. God, they went up too. Did oh. they? Well, you must have been trying to light them. Otherwise, why would you be sitting on the floor in your parents' bedroom with matches? They were at church and my sister was supposed to be watching me. And I was just like playing. Don't with blame them. your sister. How old were you? Uh, I would have been twelve. You knew what you were doing. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. But it was like one of those sheer curtains, and it just <gasps> oh my! Terri- How did you get it out? Terrifying, terrifying. How did you put it out? Just like with a blanket, put it out. Oh, yeah. but there was a giant hole in Mum's curtain, and it just stayed there for the <laughs> next it? ten years. I was living at the How house. How much trouble were you in? Oh, what do you reckon? A lot. I launched when Dad got home. Should have called the blind factory. Uh, I should have called the blind factory. Should have called the blind factory. Okay, what about this one? We were fifteen. It was hard rubbish. We went and set up an entire living room, including couches, chairs, tables. <laughs> <laughs> rugs, lamps, and a fridge in the middle of Nepean Highway at 4 a.m. and watched cars bank up behind it. That'd be executive producer Brody. Absolutely. It was so much fun. I'll do it again. <laughs> in the middle of Nepean Highway. Dangerous. That's the stupid things you do. There would have been a thousand so cars waiting behind, I reckon. Why not? Oh, so not even on the medium strip, on the actual highway. Middle of the road. Jeez. Once some kids um, stole a detour sign and some cones, like witches' hats. Yeah. Um, and my school was on High Street Road. Yeah. A busy, busy road, and they detoured the whole of High Street I through our that. school driveway down a roundabout. That's <laughs> solid. Back out. Really good. <laughs> it was that solid. is solid. I hope that's not what's happening on the Monash this morning. That Who is- wagged school at fifteen to go to Oak State armed with Maduri uh, and got sprung on the news by their brother? Gen Z? I'm saying no. Clint Stanaway. Oh, was that you? Yeah. I think the most was- shocking thing in that is that you were drinking Midori. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Lauren, Clint's here from the newsroom, and so is Tones. Our next guest is an OG from Mornington Peninsula who has been smashing it on the world stage. <laughs> the tones you bring the eyes welcome to the show tones and i good morning good morning good morning jason lauren uh clint's here with us as well how are you tones oh (laughs) good morning clint hello (laughs) (laughs) mate hey guys works it mate exciting morning for you what's it like for an artist leading up to the moment when you finally get to hit go and drop a single um, well, I always wake up excited, even if, like, I don't care about the single and I've been forced to drop it for a sink. <laughs> 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 no, uh, it's pretty exciting because, like, you take, obviously, like, the story goes, blah, blah, blah. You, yeah. You put so much time and effort into something and, and also, like, that doesn't take away from the fact that I'm extremely grateful to access people that will listen to it because, you know, I know that 
some people just release singles and then and try and get their family to stream it. So got to be grateful for that. And so how much say do you get in to when you drop your singles? Like, do you get to choose that or do you just get told? Um, no, like, I think it's a group effort. Like, it's a group decision. Like, uh, there was a point last year when I was like, can I release some music? I think I've released two mm. songs this year. And then, like, because we were working on the album, we kind of said, let's just not release really much until the album's done. So that really helped put some fire up my bum. But also, <laughs> I know that if I really wanted to, like, really, really wanted to, I'm sure I would have been able to drop more music. But I guess it makes more sense to just wait till the body of work's done. Yeah. You, don't, you don't need fire up the bum because you've been busy. You've been touring with Pink and mm. Macklemore, if you don't mind. Um, that's right. Last time we spoke, you were just yeah. heading off on the tour. That's right. Jeez, what's it like? What's, what was it like on the road with them? What did you learn? Um... Well, Pink is, like, very um, motherly and very much you can tell she's been so successful for so long. And yeah. she's, like, really very much comes into catering and, like, will sit with my choir girls and is just, like, really good energy. She's always walking around in slippers and a tank and just, like, kind of always got a tea. Or, you know, she's really that energy all the time. She's mm. so great. Um, and then Ben is... Ben's also the same, but ben's also like more of like a brother to me i suppose right. he's also really hip-hop as well um i don't know they're both very similar i think they both look after their people and their crew and their team really well i've been lucky i'm sure there's artists that, mm. that aren't like that mm. but that's the only kind of people i've met tones did um did pink go hey you want to yeah, jump you, on the harness and have, have a hoon? Oh, i'd love to do and that. have a hoon through the air Oh, mate, I was, like, getting ready to, to ask her about it on, like, before the first show and then I saw it and I was like, absolutely not. I'm not great on rides, so there's no <laughs> way I'd be, I'd be going on it. It either. did yeah, seem <laughs> like a family tour, though, with their kids on tour as well. One just not interested in the show and one out singing. Yeah, I <laughs> know. It's really cute that it is a family vibe. And she actually has people that... That she brings people on tour that actually go in the harness, and when she doesn't want to actually test safety tests at all, um, they'll fly around the stadium um, until she's ready for sound check, and then she can be like, "Look, uh, it's safe. I'm not going to get on the harness for sound check." Or sometimes she will. Yeah, right. And you're back in your hometown. Sometimes so- we will. You back? Really? Jeez. You're back in your hometown yeah. soon, playing gigs at RLA and Margaret Court. Um, what's it? What's it like coming home and playing to your, you know, your hometown fans? Do you give a little bit more? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, honestly, like before this Pink tour, um, I was, you know, not really sure of how I would be received doing another tour around Australia. And I was really nervous to announce this tour. And I'd known about that I was going on tour, like, for the last year. But yeah. I was really nervous to even announce it because you just don't know. And, you know, all you have, all you see is, like, either online stuff or, you know, it's you wonder if people are forgetting or don't no. want to come to your shows anymore or shows in general. And I think the Pink Tour really helped me get in front of people that otherwise would have never, you know, second-guessed going to a show. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's... Pretty you know, awesome. I recommend don't, it. Don't, I look at all the, don't look at any of the negative shit online. You've got so much love out there. Yeah. And you know what this city's like, mate. We are hanging to get behind you. Hey, hey, Tones, you're doing those shows in um, Melbourne in September. Any chance you're going to be popping up grand final week anywhere? Um, yeah, I don't even think it's a secret. Um, unfortunately, like, it's not like I'm not going to do a grand final performance again. I mean, I'm very grateful to have done one. I'd never take away from an artist that hasn't. But I'm pretty sure I'm doing like a corporate box at the MCG. So some random group of people are going to have me sing for like cool. a quick 10 oh. minutes. Like, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Then, like, is it the Nova box? <laughs> the ticket, so. And the worst thing is, the worst thing is, I bloody go for Saints, so I don't even know oh, what I'm going to do. Oh, don't worry. You, oh. tell me. you won't have any footy to watch then. You can just focus on the singing. <laughs> you don't need tickets to the big game. Hey, um, Tones, we are so excited for you to be coming back to Melbourne and performing. And honestly, mate, congratulations on the new single. We're right behind you here at Nova. We're huge fans. Thanks, guys. <sighs> We're out of hide and seek. We are. Went home. Um, I went home and didn't want to come back. I forgot to come in this morning. Yeah, you did. I went <laughs> Good home. Good on you. All power to you. I was so comfy in my bed, I didn't get up. We have stuff everywhere because we have to be out of our house. Oh, you're on moving deadline. In 10 days. Moving house, it's it's so stressful and oh, it's so Lauren. taxing on relationships. Yeah. It's also therapeutic, I find. It is. It's you get expensive to, because it all is. the stuff you throw out. You've got to go and buy again. Yeah, I know. So we're you're done. like, I'm done with this couch. And then there's more boxes because the stuff you buy is in a box. What I would say, if you buy anything, 
pay for the fee, Jace, where you pay to have it delivered and they take the packaging away? Step ahead of you. Always. Yeah, fridges now, which is what we went shopping for yesterday. Oh, oh. Yes. Lou and I. Oh, it's a new fridge. Yeah. I, here's the thing. I was a bit overwhelmed. Yeah, there's mm. a lot. It's a lot of options. So the first thing you should do, did they tell you, is measure the space you oh, have, have so you, you know measured? what size you're looking for, and then it rules out Please 50% tell me of you've them. Measured. I hadn't you, measured. Oh no, no. no, but what I did do is I, I went back to the old real estate photos and zoomed in on the oh, kitchen. It's about no. yay big. <laughs> and they've got a double door. So oh. I thought, okay, so there's a bit of width on it. Width. Oh. <laughs> width. Sorry. You you haven't got a tape measure out? Well, no, I don't have access to the house Because they only bought it. They don't have access. If, is there anyone living in it currently? Yeah, I've actually emailed the current owners and asked for measurements. Oh, how do you have the current owners? Um, they were flogging off some of their stuff, so I oh. bought some of the- Oh, that's good. Sh- should have bought the fridge. Um, nah, new fridge. You want so, the fridge. So I've asked new for the, new fridge. I've asked for the measurements. Mm-hmm. Went into- Because um, they come in all shapes and sizes. Oh, mate. I went into the store yesterday. Lovely guy by the name of Charles came up. He was helping us Charles. out. Beautiful Charles. man. Charles. Charles. Like knew, the king. Knew his fridges. He was Did the he? king of the fridges. He was the fridge man. Um, you know, what are you looking at? Well, yeah. they've got that one where you tap on it. And then you can yeah. see oh, what's the in window. there. I don't think you need that. I'm not getting that. You know that. what's in your fridge. He said between us, they're being discontinued because they're not selling. Yeah, I don't know why. Remember for a while there were fridges with like iPads attached they to them? They still have those. Shopping list? He showed me one of those. So if you're out the shops and you're like, oh, do we need milk? You can dial into your fridge and it's got cameras inside. No. Yes. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you don't need that either. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? That's stupid. Then there's the now, ice cubes. So, do you oh, want to water in the fridge you. door? Because you've got to check if there's plumbing behind I've it. I've asked the current owners. I don't know yet. Otherwise, and I'll get a hose. Clint, remember when we went fridge shopping and there were the ones with the big ice cubes? Big balls. Big balls. Yeah. So, the one I'm big looking at balls. just has like, it drops down small balls and balls big balls. Drops. Oh, both balls. Two, like, well, do, well, Does it come out of a hole in the fridge or have you got to open the freezer and it's, it's No, you open the freezer there. and it's in a drawer. So, it's not yeah. taking up much... Real estate, because yes, that's the other thing. They take up a lot of door space. How's this? Where's the freezer? This is the cool bit. Freezer's at the bottom. Mm, good. Two doors. Yep. Right. Two doors at the top. One drawer at the bottom. No. Of the freezer. Two doors at the top. Two doors at the bottom. Oh. But one half of the freezer. If you sit there and go, God, we don't have much frozen stuff, but we're having a party and we've got a lot of fridge stuff. You can change that section to a fridge. No, no. you can't. No, yes. you can't. Yes, you can. That's great. For like Christmas what? Day when you've got to yeah, put exactly all the salads right. somewhere yep. and there's no yep. room. You can change that to the salad oh. fridge. That's good. You Isn't should it? be buying that. And, he, and, as and, if and it's that's on sale. ever going to be relevant to you. Your freezers are always full. I know. Because you're an air fryer guy. You've got sausage rolls, party pies. Think about the ice cream you're going to be storing in there, and you're an ice man. That's why I said to him, is your there a, freezer will can never. we go the other way? Can I make half the fridge a freezer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, no one's ever asked for that. Remember how excited um, one of our listeners, Adele, was about her fridges? Um, my husband actually loses me when we go to JB or Harvey Norman. <laughs> I can spend about an hour and a half to two hours looking at the fridges. At the <laughs> just the fridges? That's he, it? He, just just fridges? Just the fridges. I will not look at freezers. They are not normal. I love knocking on the ones that light up. I like the ones that have the smaller <laughs> doors at the front. They're amazing. It's like a kid in a candy store. He's actually left me at a Harvey Norman and had to come back because I refused to leave. Oh, oh you're cooked. Fridges. You know what? I did make the statement that she was cooked. I would like at fridges mm. yesterday. <sighs> so what? Do it's you- good though, but those... Those shops, like ENS Trading, I could just spend hours playing house. Oh, in there. mate! We know where they've got the display kitchens. Yeah, that Fisher Parker one that has everything integrated from the dishwashers to the fridges. I, I want to just move in there. You can't. That'd freak other customers out. I mean, there's a lot of room in the fridge, though. <laughs> hey, uh, I just want to play house. It's been a while since we've done it. It's always fun. What appliance? Get you going, Melbourne. You know what I saw recently? I showed you, actually, in the hide-and-seek house. We didn't have it in there, but I saw it in a picture. There's these new stove tops where you get the stone. You choose your stone, like, you know, whether it's travertine or marble Mm. or whatever else there is. And there's no actual hot plate on it. So it's like that induction, but it's uh, somehow built in under the stone. So it just looks like a plain bench. And there's plain just bench. tiny little dots where you put your pot. And you when mean? you put your pot, pot on it, and it that's boils. the stove. That's it. It I'm looks gonna, like I'm the gonna, pot is boiling on the bench. I'm going to show you, find your picture, Clint. Are you ready for it's this? This is going to blow you away. Executive producer Brody told me about this today. Mm-hmm. T- tell him about the toaster. Listen to this. 
I saw on a Facebook reel that there is a see-through toaster, so when it goes down, you can see how toasted the toast actually is. We were talking about this in Hide and Seek. I used to have one. You can see how brown it is. It's true? Yeah, this was about... 10 years ago see in my very toaster. first share house we had a see-through toaster because Clint was getting his rocks off watching the see-through kettle oh, boil. The see-through, see-through, oh, the see-through, see-through kettle. kettle. You can see the little bubbles coming up. Yes. <sighs> That's lit. 13, 24, 10. What appliance gets you going, Melbourne? Oh. I'm going to get off the work Wi-Fi because I want to look up some toasters. We're asking on 13, 24, 10, what appliance gets you going? Nandos, mm-hmm. who works on this show, our video guy, loves up? is, it's a USB-C lighter. So, like for lighting candles and stuff like that. Oh, I've seen these. And it plugs into the wall and look, you just... And it goes across the top. Yeah, it's almost like a little taser, like an old school taser. You can get them from, um, what is that shop called? It's in all the big shopping centres. No. Signet. And it smells like, it's called Dusk. Yes. It smells like candles, all the different candles. They sell them in there. Yeah, there's different like burners and candles. Great idea. Dusk. Yes, there's not actually a flame on it. It's much safer if you've got little kids and things around. What's Signet? Signet's the mobile phone charger. Yeah, yeah. They sell lighters and... I miss what's new. And Granny Mays. Yeah, I know. All right. Very reliable. 13, 24, 10. What appliance gets you going, Melbourne? Let's get sexy with appliances. Home appliances. Irons. And they've got to shoot. The water shooter. Yeah. You know Have what you I've got, got a steam iron, anyone? I've got the big base unit. That's the steam iron. Yeah, I got it from Aldi. It was a special buy. Oh. That's pretty good. And a huge base unit. With the water in with it? With the water tank in it. And, mate, it would steam your face off. Well, you- I've heard that it irons so much faster. Yeah. So much faster, Lauren. I need to get And one. then you can hang the clothes and... I'll also use it as a steam use iron, as a not steamer. a steam iron. So you it's know, gentle. It's both. Now they've got cordless irons. Which are phenomenal. So what? Ph- phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> so what? You put them on the base to charge, yeah. and then when you go to... It's like a Dyson. You, they wouldn't be a steam iron. You nah, can have water in it. Nah. Also, they've got good... They shoot well. Good squirter. Good squirter. It's got to be out of squirt. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Can't squirt. You need the water in it. It's not in the house. I if I was later in life when I discovered the, that you needed to use the water to get good the creases squirt. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Kristen in Morty Alec. Should we take some calls? Absolutely. <laughs> what appliance are you falling in love with more by the day? Oh, look, other than um, <clears throat> it's a bit more X-rated, probably not on the air, but the oh. one that I can say Ooh. is the Thermomix. No. Yeah, I, I hope mean, I've never had one, though. Neither have I. I've never tried you it. You know they... what? Don't, don't knock it till you try it. Do you People reckon? think you, you cook in it every night. You don't. Okay. That's, that's okay. Silly. What's the best so dish you make you've made? The best. Oh, look, I'm talking cocktails, I'm talking mulled wine, I'm talking oh, oh. smoothies, I'm talking pizza dough. Cocktails in the Thermomix? Oh, everything. You mulled have no wine. idea. It's a one, one pot wonder. Oh, How do you make a cocktail in the See, Thermomix? you know what? She's right. Because normally I was like, I'm not going to pay for it. If i got to pay for it, that's she rock She said bottom. pizza dough and you've got a pizza oven. I know, oven. but just not paying for Mate. it. It's a bit desperate. Kristen, but how, often are you jumping, how often are you jumping on board the Thermomix? At least twice a day. Oh, wow. Oh, twice a day. <laughs> Get now, on it. <laughs> have they gone down in price, though? Because when they came out, they wow. were spenny. What are they, three? No, nah, look, I don't I don't reckon they probably have come down in price. But How I, much? It's worth its weight in gold. How much? Grand. Yeah. What yeah. are they asking? Well, they, but, <laughs> you know, it's a one. you don't need any other appliance. Do you do work you? for Thermomix? I don't. Do you have a discount code? Don't. Use Kristen. No, 10, I don't. 10% off. But I freaking love it. She loves it. You know what? You can't even buy one at JB or ENS. Do you have to you... buy it through Thermo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, is they, it a bit and, of a pyramid scheme? Yeah, is yeah. It, and, Debbie it? Co- and Debbie comes around to your house and shows you how to use Gives it. Gives you a lesson. Oh, it's like Does, Avon calling. Yeah, it doesn't just Avon give it to calling. you. It's like Tupperware's like that. Oh, they like have an instructor and tell so you how much. to get on it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's go to Cran Burn. Gabby. Hello. Morning. Gabs. What gets you going? Uh, Well, one of the biggest selling points when we bought our most recent house was the fact it came with a zip tap. 
Oh, oh I yeah. love my zip tap. Does yours yeah. do hot water, cold water, and sparkling, Gabby? Oh, unfortunately, not the sparkling, but definitely the boiling water. If That's you good, like getting it? wet, Instant. zip taps zip taps the way to go. Yeah, mine's got hot, cold, and sparkling, and it is the most used appliance in our house. You, you Worth use it all the time, cent. really? Yeah, because you, you know I love sparkling yeah, water. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I drink yeah. so much water. So that's, and, and, I suppose, and, and we used to spend so much money buying s- bottles of sparkling water constantly. What about you know, you just get a stream? glass whenever you're ready. What about the zip taps you can take out, like like a hose? Oh, my, our kitchen tap, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. kitchen tap. It's not normally a zip tap. No, I've zip seen tap. a zip tap. You can't have a boiling no. water hose. You're not yeah, spray like a boiling water. The pub with no. Your pub that's nah. what I would like. The soda stream gun in oh, the house. Oh, yeah. And a beer tap, maybe? Yeah. Why not? Put a keg under the kitchen sink. Lou won't mind. G'day, Dwayne. Hello. What gets you going, Dwayne? My hair straight, mate. My hair straight. Oh. oh, what do you got? Because I'll be able to relate. A Remington. A Remington. Remington. Oh, sorry, it's a Remington. <laughs> Remington or Remington? <laughs> I think you're using it the wrong end there, Remington. Mate. Right. <laughs> oh. Wrong end. Oh. Um, and is it is it a uh, is it a, a fat one or a skinny one? Skinny one. Yeah. Jace, hey, uh, Jace loves the straightener. Yeah, Dwayne, what do you got? Not only have I got a skinny one, yeah. but mine's cordless. Oh, what no, brand is no, it? I don't have cordless. GHD, I I baby. Cordless. GHD, day. GHD cordless. How She's often? quite thick at the base, but thin at the top. Oh, because it needs a battery pack, so it's yes, cordless. Yes, yeah. Hey, Dwayne, how often? I can do it. I can, yeah, I can do it anywhere. <laughs> how often do are you anywhere. using your Remington, Dwayne? Uh, every couple of days. Have you, cons- my hair. Have you considered a mermaid? What's a, What's a mermaid? mermaid? I don't know. They're the ones everyone's using now, mermaid. What's a mermaid? Well, a mermaid, there's mermaid straighteners and mermaid blow brushes and mermaid crimpers. What's there's a blow brush? Like, instead of blow drying your hair, the hot air comes out of the brush. Yeah, yeah it's my, my, my wife's got one. She's a massive fan of the blow. Okay. Yeah. The blow brush. Is a GHD actually a good hair day? Yeah, that's yeah. what it stands that's what it for. Stands for. Yep. Yeah, 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 I love GHD. How about that? 13, 20 for 10 is our number. We are talking about what appliance gets you going. I got the Dyson Airwave. All I do is get my hair knotted when I do use it. <laughs> I need to do a t- YouTube tutorial or something. What You're doing a, it wrong. That? You don't that like a wand? Oh, there's many different heads you can attach to it. Okay. But one of them is like it blows air and it's kind of meant to give you like a salon blow wave oh, and I just yeah. get it caught it and knotted. Yeah, right. Well, you're doing it wrong. Should I try it tomorrow? Let me Absolutely. All right. Let's go to Layla in Newport. Layla. How are you? <laughs> um, so <laughs> my appliance is a cuisine art slow cooker that fries. So you start all your in, in the whole thing. You throw everything in. You fry it. And then you switch it over to slow cook and leave it. Because I was doing a machine. well, I was doing a curry yesterday, and it says brown the chicken. So all of a sudden, I'm using oh, a pan on the stove, and then, and, then right. I'm, and then I'm moving to the slow cooker. And does this right. save that process, Layla? So yeah, it completely eliminates you frying with the fry pan. Oh, and what's it called? Yeah. What's it called? So it just saves you so much time. So I knock out my dinners in 15 minutes. What's it's it called, Layla? Prep. It's called a cuisine art. You oh. buy it at um. Oh, what is it? I bought it in South Melbourne at that kitchen place where you oh, get all the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, need one. Good. Need the market there. Love it. Get fried and then just be slow. That's good. <sighs> I like it. God, I love what appliance gets you going. I feel like I want to go shopping now. I don't need any of this stuff. That is it. We are getting out of here. Thank you for being a friend. Have a look at the vultures over here. The team. They're just going through photos of my belongings before we move out. I've got to get rid of, like, a barbecue and stuff like that. Yes. They're all yeah, gathered around. Hang on. You did say, does anyone want a webbecue? Does anyone want a fridge? Does any free stuff to go? It's mine. <sighs> it's a built-in Jasmine barbecue at the new joint. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Make me an offer. Give it to them. They've what? just worked five days around the clock. For you. You've got all Not the money in me. the world. No, I don't. I've got dependents. Yeah. Give it, give them the Weber cue you tied us. You're not going to make, don't you? I, I will buy you a new one before you pay for that. <laughs> Do you know what, Jazz? You yeah. can have the boat as well. No, oh no. Hey, um, yeah, you can sell the boat. He doesn't need Come the boat. on, a used Weber cue you're going to sell to our staff who work tirelessly. Oh, for not you. tirelessly. They work their guts out. For Sometimes you. they're late. 
You know. Uh, if pr- young producer Ellie says one more time that she wants the microwave from hide and seek, <laughs> because she's just looking at her. She's out there begging. Have we given it to her yet? <laughs> no, no. We said make us an offer. <laughs> I'll buy your microwave, darling. Uh, you go and find one you want and I'll buy your microwave. Oh, uh, we'll get the convic- uh, convention. Is it the big one where it's like an oven as oh, well? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, strong, yeah, yeah. Strong. Hey, uh, that's it. We are out of here. Mel You is... don't want that microwave. It smells like Jace's microwave meals. Yeah, you don't want that. I don't think the door shuts on it. Um, <laughs> Mel is in next. Have a great day, everybody. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Thank you for being a friend. be a good day. Jason Lauren. Jason Lauren. Wake up feeling good on Nova 100. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials.